not joking. No my guys, them them know me. So hey, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Oti, and if you're new on this channel, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and click that bell so that whenever I post, you'll be the very first to find out. So you guys, we're doing something different today. Um, let me just introduce this our beautiful guest oh no introduce yourself yeah introduce yourself. hi guys my name is Dami show i'm a content creator living in calgary canada mm. and i'm so excited to be here i'm so excited to be doing this video with melissa when i got this invitation i'm like why not why not <laughs> <laughs> so why please not? subscribe to our channels go to youtube and you'll find us there the link to our channels will be in the description box thank yeah, you guys please 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 all right so today we're going to be comparing canada and the uk lots of people have been migrating from africa and most times we ask them where do you want to go to they say is canada or uk and i think most people they are scared of canada because of ielts <laughs> they don't want to write ielts <laughs> do is ielts required for student routes in canada not all schools require IELTS. Not all schools, right? So UK, most schools don't really care about IELTS if you're coming from Nigeria. So even people in the UK, they've been leaving UK for Canada. A whole lot of people. Like, if you count, or more people, they come here, they just get some UK experience, try PRO, and they run away. I'm like, why is Canada the, the goal? Why is Canada the destination? What exactly is in Canada? Like, OK, today I've brought that Michelle so she can tell us what is in Canada. So today we're going to be comparing UK and Canada. So in case you're confused, I think this video should be enough reason why you should make your decision as soon as yes, possible. Yes, I'm giving you like tips. So Damisho, how long have you lived in Canada? Um, About a year and a half. All right. Myself, I've lived in Canada. UK for four years. So I think that we are in the perfect position to yes, we are talk about this because most changes usually affect new migrants, not only people that have lived there for a very long time. People that have lived there, they have their house, they have their cows, they have stable jobs. They can change jobs as much as they want. Things don't really affect them like that, like that. Unlike us, they're still trying to test waters. So I think we are qualified to make this comparison. So let's start with weather. What is Canada weather like? When in winter, uh, summer, what is it like? Oh, Canada. <laughs> Our dear Canada. <laughs> See, eh, I would say that Canada is cold. I'm sure all mm -hmm. of you that are watching this video, you have heard that Canada is cold. Yes, mm -hmm. Canada is cold, but it's, the cold is not unbearable. And um, it's not what people make it seem. People make it seem like you cannot survive, you cannot breathe. But it's, I mean, people are living here and nobody has died of the cold. So yeah. I would say that, yes, Canada is cold, especially Calgary where I live. You would hear people say that Calgary is colder than some other provinces in mm. the country. Yes, Calgary is cold, but it's not to die for, right? In in during our winter, what we consider the coldest will yeah. be my like minus thirty five, and that's just for like about a week or less, just a few mm. days, and after that you are back to like the regular minus twenty. So. For us, I've I've seen uh, at least I've done two winters here, so I can categorically tell you that what yeah. we would consider very cold, as in very cold, would be in the minus thirties, and that doesn't come often, right? Yeah. That very cold is not the stretch of, of the winter, so it's mm. something that we live by. And I would say that the people that can tell you categorically that they are affected with the weather are people that enter the bus because I mean they they have to stand at the bus stop for minutes, yeah. hours. But if you have a car, you're just coming out from your car and you're going to the next destination, which mm -hmm. is also yeah. heated, right? So yeah. it's not a big deal. And what's like when it's summer? Is it like when it's summer, it's summer? You see the yes. summer where? Yes, a very yeah. large extent. When it's mm -hmm. summer, it is summer. It's just that um, for a few times in the summer, you get some very windy weather that you might mm. need to cover up. But it's not a big deal, right? Mm. Um our summer is hot just the way the winter is cold summer is hot as wow. hot as the winter <laughs> but you can still get some chilly mm. days not chilly but like some breath of mm -hmm. fresh air instead of yes. Summer, hot. yes yeah when it comes to uk weather it's so epileptic guys i mean like you mentioned in canada you guys can get as high as minus 30 uk is no no 
I think the highest you can get might be minus five, which is very rare, but that minus five can be really, really, really chill, like very cold. That's why when it snows, you see people posting a lot on social media because we are so excited to see snow. We don't get to see snow regularly like you guys. Are you serious? Um, yeah, no. Snow is the way of life here. <laughs> no, we rarely see snow. So when it snows, everybody's out, building snowman, taking pictures. Anytime it snows in the UK, Social media will feel it that it's really snowy in the UK because lots of people will come out to post pictures. Unlike that Canada, where it's like a red lab, right? Okay, it's snowy. That's very was that. <laughs> I mean, for where I am in Calgary, last mm. year, it snowed in October. Wow. But it wasn't cold, it just snowed. So mm. imagine us getting um, snow as early as October. That's what it was. It's not like. Come. <laughs> you can't begin to imagine. In the UK, summer. It's not summery. Like most times, we might just inside the summer, it might just be two weeks hot. The other part of the month, forget it. Most times, it's that it's raining or it's windy. Like now, it, it just finished raining, it keeps raining. So I would say UK weather cannot be predicted. In a day, it can rain, it can be windy. You're just, just confused. You don't even know what to wear. And sometimes, with that forecast, oh my God, can really confuse you. Like, you say, right? So unpredictable so in a nutshell when it comes to weather who takes the take <laughs> i don't know um, but so, just... I'll, i'll, i okay. think what i've noticed from what people talk about the weather within canada and um uk is yeah i feel like our our your minus two that you guys complain is so cold should be equivalent to our minus 20 because mm -hmm. do you people talk about your minus two as if no you have reached <laughs> minus 50. So I, I don't know, I don't think there's a research that mm -hmm. justifies what I'm saying, but I just feel like your minus two is, should be maybe like our minus 15, because mm -hmm. our minus two, we are wearing shorts outside, we are chilling. I don't, mean, mean, I don't mean literally, but I'm just like people yeah. dress down at that point because it's not as cold. So I don't know why you will consider cold in my know, other minus really. two. <laughs> if you can explain it in the comment section, please explain. Because I don't if really you live in Canada or uh, UK. Let us know. Let us know. Yes. <laughs> now, moving forward. So, we're going to be comparing UK and Canada when it comes to proximity and diversity. By proximity, how close is your is UK or Canada to home? Like, and also diversity. Like, how diverse is the country? I think UK is going to take the take because we are just like five hours away. It's okay. okay. It's okay. <laughs> If I say I want to go home now and land like at home tomorrow morning, ah, I don't reach out to be that. Or like I Canada, know, right? how many hours from Canada to Nigeria? You say? Are you kidding me? Humbly, I humbly speak that we are far away from Nigeria. <laughs> Just like the US. You guys are very close to the US. Yeah, we're very close to the US. So we are far. So um, a typical flight, a long flight would be like 30 hours. Including the stopover and all, all everything, right? What of direct? There are no direct flights. No, we don't. We don't do direct yet. <laughs> oh my days! That's far. When you think about going home, you're just tired. Yes. When you think about going home, you have to really think about going think home. About we don't do direct. Yet. We don't know. We like ah, to touch okay. down in other countries. Okay. 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 So you guys, I will give you guys one for your weather. So that is one one. Good. So when it comes yes. to diversity, I mean. Oh, my goodness uk when is very multicultural eh? mm -hmm. when you hear canada outside you will hear canada is a very multicultural society they mm. take pride in that you are one step you're seeing an arab the other step you're seeing a black person the other step mm -hmm. you're seeing the caucasian i mean mm. canada is diverse you see yeah. every race every Anything can yeah. every color, color, every country mm. you can same see. Here. Same here. Same here. Yeah, I, I agree with you that UK can also be very much cultural. cultural. But I believe mm. that Canada is more because okay. Canada has a more open hand, right? Mm. I mean, take for instance when um the war happened in Ukraine and Afghanistan, Canada had the pass for them to come in, like especially for them, mm. right? Imagine yeah. if it was not a society that was open to open or welcoming part of the world, they would mm. welcome them, right? So yeah, that's the point. I think I deserve a Canada deserves one. Let them vote. You guys should tell us because actually I get what you mean, but you know, it was even when I came to this kid, I realized that there are some African countries like 
living in Africa literally all my life, I didn't know about some African countries. Coming here, I'm like, wow, there's a country called Rwanda. There's a country called this. Like, I didn't know, to be fair, because there are so many of them here. Then on proximity, how easy is it to visit other countries from Canada? Like in the UK, we are so close to Europe countries. We can easily go to France, go to Italy, like Spain, like Germany. We are just so close. Ireland, like just in fact you can even use bus to go to you see italy or you guys remember either parry yeah parry either yeah parry you can use bus to go to parry sorry we don't, we don't do that here we fly everywhere yeah. Coach. <laughs> yeah i think when it comes to proximity you can also take the tape because within the uk you can easily go to the next town like by train mm -hmm. you're just like one or two trains away we barely fly like barely barely fly except maybe you're coming all the way from scotland or Canada, <laughs> Canada is so like uh, okay. Okay, it's a very massive country, guys. Massive. Canada is big. No, big does not justify it. It's massive. Canada is. I don't know. This is yeah. the landmass. Let me even give you a context before we continue. Before we say mm. too much, let me give you the context. Mm. Ontario is a province in Canada. Mm. That province, aka is bigger. state, is bigger than Nigeria as a whole. I know. So that gives you the context of how big it is, right? Just so one problem. So for proximity, I think the only proximity we have is the US. It's not even all provinces, right? It's only provinces that share border with um mm. with the United States that can easily enter, right? So for instance, Ameri um Ontario is a province and it shares um the border with new let's say New York or Buffalo. So literally side by side right yeah. and maybe into the deeper part of new york maybe like a six hour drive our mm. butter shares border with just those provinces mm. right that share yeah. border with that's when you can drive in but mm. i will tell you directly no there is every literally not all but literally you have to fly to most of the provinces like i just told someone yesterday if you go outside and shout you hear yourself because everywhere is CLC. <laughs> the proximity is not there. In the UK, you, like somebody can be having a party and the person will invite you and like, oh, I'm coming, I'm driving. Like, yeah. it's just so close. Yeah. yeah. That's why we, we meet ourselves from time to time. You go to one place and you meet your classmates, you yeah. meet your schoolmates. As in, I know, right? Yeah, we meet ourselves yeah. a lot. That's the point for people to consider. So, when it comes to access to African food, I'll say that it depends on where you live. Mm. depends on the community of Africans or let's just say Nigerians, the community of Nigerians that mm -hmm. they, right? Yeah. For me, I live in Calgary and the closest African store to me is 10 minutes, I mean, eight minutes drive. It's not a big deal, mm. right? I don't think anybody living in Calgary, Edmonton, even maybe Okotoks, or would have a problem. It just mm -hmm. really depends on where you live. And it's not like you will not find. It just might be far from you. But and I don't consider it a problem. And in that and in that store you see like a lot of things. Yes. African food is not a problem. Like the, uh, the food I was not even eating in Nigeria. I said it's like it. <laughs> Yeah, like Ayamashe, you know, father rice with leave. You see the papa of father rice as in no, when it comes to African food, I give it to the UK, honestly. When it comes to immigration, I think the UK is... They welcome everybody and anybody. And their routes are pretty... Can be straightforward sometimes. Especially when it comes to, like, the student routes. Like, you guys know that the UK now, like... FK assistant, enter. This one, enter. And we do... We use the point-based system. I don't know about Canada, but when it comes to UK, I think they, they, they're really accommodating. And the and immigration process is pretty more straightforward but the route to citizenship is such a long one unlike canada i think like now in the uk if you're using the rock uh, work route you have to stay for like five years before you won't start thinking about ila route unlike you guys that you can even get your pro abby you can qualify from pro from your home country then when it comes to like the student route is so long 10 freaking years guys it is so long so on that aspect can you talk, talk, tell us about like immigration in canada i would say again canada is very welcoming and i can categorically tell you that there are about 52 different legal routes to entering this country i, I believe that's a plus to yeah Yes. So and how easy is it? How easy are these steps? 
<laughs> That's the thing. So I don't want to base on easy because everybody's journey is different, right? Mm-hmm. It just really depends on mm-hmm. I- I- individual journey, individual's journey, right? Mm-hmm. And maybe the officer and in your file. So I can't mm-hmm. categorically talk about how easy it is, but mm-hmm. it is accessible. <laughs> Yeah, right. going. Yeah. yeah, there are a lot. There's the student route, there is the PR, there's the provisional nomination, there's the work route, there's the visitors route. So there's something um, called um, the visitors route. Like you come into Canada with a visitors visa and mm-hmm. look for a job and then you get your work permit. And you can also get your work permit from outside Canada. Can never be in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I know that for the UK, the easiest, I mean, the easiest so is cool. You just have to think about it two months, you have entered the UK. No, yeah. It's not like that in the Canada. You have to plan your life to come into the UK. <laughs> and you know, in Canada, you can, I heard that you can even get the admission, but they won't give you visa. Yes. So the visa routes can be very taxing because they don't want you to come in and come a body, right? Mm. So they have to be sure that you have the money, you can mm. survive and all of those things, right? So you can plan your life and get it right, but it's not like the UK, A, B, C, D, D, uh, uh. You have mm. to probably go A, then B, unlike wow. UK where in like in it's three months, so fast. think about UK and you have entered. Yeah, and it's, it's not like so that. Fast. So I would yeah, say, okay, UK is faster to get into but in canada i would say the route to your pr or whatever is easier yeah the accessibility is better it's yes better. because like for instance in terms of students when you go into school as a student in the uk mm. after your school you qualify for postgrad right you pay mm. to get a visa right mm-hmm. in canada once you're done with school you apply for postgrad after your postgrad, they call it like postgrad work visa. So it depends mm-hmm. on how many years you do in school. You can get one year to three years. After that, depending on the kind of work experience you have, you can either go directly to something called Federal Express Entry. That's like using your experience from your own country or using the experience that you got in Canada. So um, basically, from student to citizenship can be like mm-hmm. Or maybe four years, right? <laughs> you know, like in the UK, after your postgrad, you have to look for a company that will sponsor you, sponsor right? You. It or, doesn't. No, you don't. You exploit the point. two years post study visa. Yes, you don't or you continue to... schooling. <laughs> that's a long one, right? In Very Canada, long. a company doesn't have to sponsor you. So that's why I say it's a there's a definite route, right? Oh, great. The country understands that people don't want to go back to their country, right? Yes. Where they're coming from. So they provided that. Oh, if you're a student. You can do A, B, C, D to hmm. get your PR right. It's, Interesting. Yeah. So it's like they don't go back. That's why people don't go back because the government has pro- the system yeah. has provided a way for them to stay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So cost of living in UK and Canada, I would say it's relative, guys. So I don't think you should rely on whatever we we'll say about cost of living because I'm in the UK. I earn in pounds, I spend in pounds. She's in Canada, she earns in Canadian dollar and she spends in Canadian dollar. So I can't come and start saying three bedroom house in the UK is 700 pounds a month. And then she will say, oh, it's 3,000 pounds a month. And you guys will assume that, oh my gosh, that means life is so expensive in Canada. Because we also need to talk about the income too, minimum wage. So minimum wage in Canada might even be higher than that than in the UK. Like an average doctor might end, definitely, an average doctor earns way, way, way more in Canada than the UK. So it's not really, it's not so balanced, right? So, but I would say that when it comes to like um, salary and earning, I think you Canada should earn more based on what you guys spend. I think there's the money flows more in Canada because in the UK, it's so tight. We pay, you guys pay bills clearly. We pay lots of bills, but the money doesn't really flow like that. So if I assess any public fund, I'm definitely breaking the rule. And they'll be waiting for me when I when I want to get my pali, my which is even like the main goal. Because what are we doing here if you not if we don't want that? <laughs> if we don't want the, the papers and stuff. So I would say it's relative. And also when it comes to the UK, it depends on where you live. If you decide to live in London, London areas, Birmingham, be sure that you're gonna be spending a whole lot of money. But if you live in down um, south or down north, like I live in north, I won't say it's 
is cheap but i would say it's reasonably affordable compared to living in london areas so you you should just check really where you want to live because at the end of the day the salary is not the difference salary difference is not so much so you can be living in london and probably be any like 70k but in the in um down north it might be like 64 65 so after all your expenses it's like it's so insignificant basically so i won't say it's ideal to compare cost of living when it comes to UK and Canada, but this is what it's like in the UK. And if you want to a full breakdown of what it's like, I've done series of content on cost of living in the UK. I've interviewed people asking them how they survive on UK cost of living. So you might want to check that out so you can get like a robust knowledge on that. So what's like cost of living like in Canada, basically? You know, like, we can't compare. That's just the truth. But what's yeah. like? The cost of living in Canada you would hear it. I'm sure you've been hearing it. The we got this money you are receiving. <laughs> the inflation rate in Canada is, I know it's all around the world, but I don't know. I think specifically in Canada, it's very high. Inflation rate mm. has gone up. So I can categorically tell you that cost of living in Canada is high. It is high. Although it now also depends on where you live. Mm. But generally speaking, it's a lot. It's so a lot you get to income something. Component. So you have something you have something to save up, not you. I mean, most people generally there will be so, something to save <laughs> up see, after everything. That question you're asking there eh, mm. is a is a is an African thing, right? <laughs> All these um pay bills and still have something to save up on we are the ones hustling that also you see all these whites mm -hmm. and all that they are comfortable with whatever is left with them we are the ones trying to build wealth and well, all that. for so, our great grandchildren <laughs> yes so it really just depends on what you earn and where you mm -hmm. live this question there is no guarantee but i will tell you that in canada if you earn minimum wage and you live according to minimum wage standard mm. you'll be okay right yeah i love that in that word yes it's that not that you good. earn minimum wage and you're what you want to what I <laughs> if you live according to your income, mm -hmm. you'll be all right. But generally, cost of living is high. No, is high. Ontario, British Columbia, they are out of the roof. But generally, cost of living is high. And I'll say that I meant something about education in Canada. It depends on the province. You start school mm -hmm. between four and five, and it's mm -hmm. free to you get to higher institution. So you mm -hmm. pay for college or university, whichever one you want to go to. Mm -hmm. And they also have access to funding. So, mm -hmm. and what from what I know right now, there is no interest rate on that student loan that you take. Oh. You just pay that money as mm -hmm. you go according to how you want to pay for it, right? So mm -hmm. the, I would say the country is a good place to be. Mm -hmm. If you want to go, we have given you several um, mm -hmm. comparisons. So mm -hmm. sit down, do your research. Just also remember the exchange rate, one, two to seven hundred. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. It's a thing you have to Nigeria. You have to be behind your mind that. Mm, That's right. Very so important. Yeah. I'm sure that we've been able to provide you guys with, um, mm. with um, adequate information. We've been able mm. to provide you with something you can hold on to, a direction to do a better research to make a good informed decision for yourself and yeah. your family whatever the case is if you want to come abroad come abroad it is not a big deal it is not over the roof it's not undoable it is doable mm. we have been living here and we are thriving by the exactly of God. you yeah. can also do the same thing so we welcome you if you are coming to canada all at me if you are going to the uk all at melissa yes, we are level sure. for questions yeah <laughs> so guys that leads us to the end of this video on my channel we still have a lot of things to talk about education job opportunities benefits but it's gonna be on our channel what's your channel name damn show dummy show so i I'm, I'm sure you guys are enjoying this content so you yeah, need to rush to our you. channel <laughs> you need to rush to our channel so you can get the full version of this comparison and at the same time please guys subscribe to our channel so thank you so much guys for watching this video and of course i'm gonna see you on our channel dummy show bye guys